Hi, today we're working on the initial stages of a cold chip startup for the M11 MAK um, simulation model. Um, where we're trying to get to uh, in this course is trying to operate the boiler um, plant, the steam system. Um, in order to do so, what we need to do is get um, some automatic controllers operating. Um, we can't get these guys to work until we've started up some of the auxiliary systems. These control systems, for the most part, are based off of pneumatic control valves, meaning they need compressed air to run. So if we go to uh, our compressed air system, uh, we're going to take a look here. So compressed air system number 60. And what we have is our bank of air compressors. Um, ultimately, what I need to do is get some air to my control system. Uh, unfortunately, if I go and I try to turn on any air compressors at this point, um, nothing's up and running. Part of my issue is going to be electricity. So uh, these guys don't have any electricity flowing to them at this point. Um, so I'm going to go have to go and make some uh, um, make some plans to get electricity. So I'm going to go to the electrical page. I have a couple of them, uh, number 70 and 74. I'm just going to go to 74 here first, consumers. Um, so what I can see is that I have essentially a bank of panels, so electrical panels breaker panels, uh, and what it lists out are all the different components. So things like my start air compressor one or my service air compressor one, um, right now they don't have any electricity to them. So I don't have any electricity flowing to my, my ship. And so what I want to do is I want to get my um, main electrical system energized so then I can start sending electricity to my air compressors, so either air compressor one, my service air compressor, or over here, uh, I have my start air compressor number two. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my electric power plant page. So that's number seven zero. And I have a couple options here. Um, I have a shore power connection. Um, let's consider that to be a uh, glorified extension cord that I plug into the wall uh, to provide power. Um, problem that I run into here is that uh, it just isn't going to have a lot of capacity. So uh, at some point, operating a few large pieces of equipment, some pumps, some air compressors, uh, I'm going to overload my capacity on that line. Um, so I'm going to start up using my emergency generator. I'm going to start him by hitting auto. Uh, what we'll see is that he turns on. My voltage starts to increase. At some point, my breaker connects in, and now I've started sending some electricity to my um, electrical system. If I jump back to my electrical consumers page, uh, what I see is, unfortunately, these air compressors don't have power just yet. Um, but my emergency generator is energizing over here. So I have things like diesel oil, lube oil pump, or diesel generator, lube oil priming pumps, seawater auxiliary pumps, bilge pumps, start air compressor too, um, and other components that are active at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take a look at start air compressor too, because it looks like I have power to it at this point. So jumping across to my start air and air compressor page two, um, or sorry, page six zero. Uh, what I have is my air compressor here. If I turn it on, uh, I can see that it stays on versus this guy, which uh, is not energized. I don't want to turn them on quite yet because I'm not quite ready for them to operate. Um, first of all, what I want to make sure is that I have a pathway. So following through my pathway, um, let's say I want to Add in some air to start air receiver one. I'm going to open up my valve there, and then I'm going to make sure that 
Again, I don't have any other air going elsewhere, so drains are closed and other pathways. So all the air can be directed into the start air receiver number one. Um, I also have another system on this page that I'm going to need to get operating before I can run the air compressors, which is my cooling water system. So what I need to have is some cooling water coming in, and it's going to go past this cooler and then return back to my water system number nine. So if I open up the valve here, um, looks like I've created a pathway, but um, what I don't have is any flow yet. So I'm identifying no flow. So I'm going to have to backtrack in terms of troubleshooting. So off I go back to screen number nine. And um, here's my water system. So I've got to try and sort out my pathway through my water systems. Um, so my air compressor page is here. Uh, so I'm going to want to get flow through this section. Um, if I want to send flow through there, I'm going to have to go through some pumps, meaning I'm going to need a supply to the pumps. So following through um, to my air compressor and then following all the way down. So I always have to make sure that I have a complete pathway that's created over to overboard, which eventually um, connects to the C, same as the C chest here. Uh, so if I decide to turn on a pump, um, I could try turning on that guy. Uh, didn't work very well. Try this guy. He also didn't work very well. Um, and if I think back, uh, if I go back to, say, my electrical consumers page, um, what I can see is that I only have power to here, and the only source that... Uh, our only component that's getting power that has to do with water is my seawater auxiliary pump. So if I go back to my cooling water page, uh, I can see that this pump actually does have some power. So I have a little bit of flow that's going to be created um, because of that small size auxiliary pump which eventually is making its way down through the air compressors. At this point, I can turn on my air compressor too. It's producing some flow. I have water flowing through my cooler. And eventually, the compressed air that's now cooled is making its way up to my receiver tank. And we can see that the pressure is increasing. Our next step that we're going to get to is to start up the diesel generator. So in order to get some other systems going, like my service air compressor to feed power to my control valves, um, what I need to do is get my diesel generators up and running because these are going to be able to supply enough power to run these, these systems. So my next stage is going to be to use the compressed air from Start Air 2, my lube oil priming pumps, and my seawater auxiliary pump based off of my emergency generator in order to get my diesel generators running.